The story of Eo and Zeus. The story of Eo and Zeus is a very fascinating one. It talks about the nymph Eo and the mortal god Zeus. One important disclaimer to make before I start. The Greek pantheon was a representation of what was true and the values at the time. While our values are different, this is not the same for the Greeks. Let's begin. Zeus, the immortal god, sat on his throne, lounging around, until he spotted a quite beautiful sight, a nymph named Eo. Zeus, thinking to himself that this beautiful woman was the true love of his life, something he had longed for since the day he married Hera. He uh, went down upon earth and proclaimed to Eo, Mortal, I have chosen thee, you and I. We will be together in nature and in the gods. Eo, hearing the horror stories that Zeus had done to other women, ran the other direction as fast as she could, tried to get away from Zeus, the immortal god of thunder. But he was irrelevant. Zeus caught up to her dragged her to the nearby woods, where he defiled her body. Hera, seeing something strange from Mount Olympus, saw a storm cloud over it was unremarkable, clear skies at the time. Hera came down and saw Zeus, something she did not expect, or she had come to expect it, but not the way that he was, with a cow. This cow was Eo of the skies. It was quite a horrifying cow. Zeus did not want Hera to be livid, as she always was with him whenever he did anything with the mortals. So, he transformed Eo into a cow to avert suspicion. Hera then asked, Who is this? Zeus replied, I am failing to see a problem here. I am with a cow. Are you implying that I would make love to a cow? It wouldn't surprise me, seeing as how you turn yourself into a cow. Listen, I don't know exactly what you are talking about, but this is just a normal cow. And why was the sky cloudy? I don't know. You're the god of thunder. Why was the sky cloudy? Listen. This is a normal cow. That's all you need to know. If it's a normal cow, why not give it to me? So you sat there in silence for me. You hear about the predicament this nymph has just been put through. But seeing no other way out of it, Zeus then said, Of course, my beloved wife, this cow is your gift. She is yours. Thank you, husband. I do so enjoy a new cow. I will give her to Argus. And she'll be able to 
live the way she feels for it. Argus will watch over her. And Zeus, Hera, and Io return to the limits. Regio is put under the watchful eyes of Argus. A person who has a hundred eyes to keep vigilant watch. And also, in the sleep of two of them, we classify it as a full twist. Zeus is quite upset with his sleepless nights. He was worried. He was upset. The nymph Io was a cow in Olympus because he put her there. He felt real guilty afterward. He thought to himself, she did not deserve this. What have I done? Traveling a little bit of ways away, he went to Hermes. Hermes said, my lord, it is an honor to see your presence again. What brings you here? I need your help. Of course, my lord. What is it? The nymph Io. I have turned into a cow. My lord, you're going to have to be a little bit more specific on what you need my help with. I wish her to be free, but she is under the influence and the watch of Argus. I want you to free her. Argus is a cunning, dangerous person. If Hera finds out that I had any hand in it, she would kill me faster than even the Titans. So you want me to kill Argus and set you free? Zeus nodded. Getting into disguise, he traveled a small distance and found Argus sitting on a rock, staring at the cow. The cow was very clearly unhappy. He tried to get away, but Argus then get back towards the herd. Oh there, stranger, Argus said to the disguised Hermes. What brings you here? Ah, yes. I am grateful that you are very clearly a very capable shepherd, are you not? Well, seeing as how I have a hundred eyes, how can I not be? He laughed for then Hermes said, Well, might I regale you with a handpipe for the creation of it? Argus then said, Of course, you are good company and I am eager to hear your stories some more. The two talked for hours. Hermes being telling him the story of the Panpipe's creation and she lulling Argus to sleep. Using his caduceus, Hermes then said, Well, now you shouldn't be waking up anytime soon, eh, yo? He looked at the cow and the cow seemed surprised. Then Hermes cut off the head of Argus after putting him to sleep. Then returned to Zeus with the wondrous news. Lord Zeus, I have done as I had asked. But before anything else could be said, Hera's screams filled the halls of Olympus. Zeus rushed over to check on his beloved queen and saw that she was livid over the death of Argus. Who did 
did this? Who could have done such a thing? I don't know. You're the Lord of the heavens. Who could have done such a thing? Argus didn't deserve this. Zeus shrugged. Then Hera's rage turned to Eo and said, None of this would have happened had you not been in here. Her rage filled any semblance of civility she had. And Zeus said, How could a cow be responsible for Argus's death? And she said, Silence! Using a little bit of magic to give her peacock Argus's appearance. The eyes of Argus covered the peacock's feathers. Then she summoned a fury and said, Chase this abomination out and destroy it. Eo ran as fast as she could with a fury close behind. Zeus said, Is it really that necessary? Argus is dead because of that cow. And Zeus said, I've got a little bit of a confession to make. That's actually human. Eo. I knew it. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you with anything. Zeus then said, Is there any reason to keep torturing them? Yes, now I know exactly why. Not needing a reason anymore, other than just because Zeus had disobeyed their marriage again. Eo traveled all over the Mediterranean then ran into a mountain with a being locked in chains. It was the titan Prometheus. Prometheus then said, Ah, mortal, it is a pleasure to see you. I do often enjoy your talks, and I do often enjoy hearing how you all are faring. Ah, I see the problem now. Eo not needing to say a word, and Argus already knew the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth. You are in very grave danger. Apart from the fury, Hera's wrath will not end until your death is power of it. But I have used my foresight to give you this knowledge. You will return to your normal form, and you will never have to return to Zeus ever again. Just hang in there, and you will succeed where Zeus has failed. Eo continued to run over the Mediterranean Sea, trying to find some semblance of you, of her humanity then. When she was pushed to the edge of the Nile River in Egypt, a voice came through. It was Hera's. She said, Oh, Fury, return to me now. And then Eo was finally returned to her normal form. She pondered what happened and then tr crossed the Mediterranean Sea and fell in love with a king, had a son, and never had to worry about Zeus ever again. Thank you so much for listening. If you made it this far, I hope you enjoyed the story of Eo. Continue to listen to my stories hit the subscribe button, and also hit the notification so that you can be notified of future content. I know I haven't done anything about that, but hey, 
Thank you guys so much for listening. Have a good one.